hello all today we will be seeing the uh, experiment 14 that is ripple carry adder now to start off with the ripple carry adder we have already explained you the theory of that ripple carry adder how does it work and uh, what is the structure of the ripple carry adder and what is the functionality of ripple carry adder now coming to the execution of that the simulation of that now uh, this is the, uh, uh, the model sim simulator that we are using and this is the project the name of the project is 2019 csc0005 underscore dd lab so we are in that project and click on uh, any any blank space here and see this uh, add to project new file so when i do this then i will be able to add a new file onto the project now the name of the file name of the file uh, you can give it as experiment 14 or here i will be giving it as ripple carry adder ripple carry adder and here we are going to write very log code we will be simulating very log code so hence i will be selecting very log here and say okay so a ripple carry adder dot v now a file will be created double click on that the editor will open now here i need to write the code for the ripple carry adder so i'm writing the code now yes this is the code for ripple carry adder now to start with as i told ripple carry adder the basic structure the basic component of ripple carry adder is the full adder so that's what uh, full adder is one of the module and ripple adder is the other module now coming to the full adder the full adder is uh, the, the functionality of the full adder you already know it it requires three inputs a b and c in and the outputs are s and c out so here uh, the sum and carry out are generated as the output and the wire uh, wires are nothing but the intermediate outputs that are produced and uh, these these are nothing but the uh, intermediate wires that are required actually for connection from one gate to the other the next now for this sum two xor gates are required so that's why these two lines of code is written the next for generating the carry these three lines especially the two and gates and the uh, for combining the two and gates one or gate is required so these three lines are written for generating the final carry out so this c out is the output of the carry the final output and this s is nothing but the sum that is generated of the uh, full adder so this is all about the full adder now once the full adder module is ready then we can go for ripple adder so this is the ripple carry adder that uh, the code what we have written and ripple carry adder all in all requires two inputs a and b but a and b should be of four bits according to our problem statement it's a four bit binary ripple adder hence 0 to 3 is given here in the sense a of 0 1 2 3 b of 0 1 2 3 so four bits each of a and b so that much memory location will be allotted for these two variables then next output output again four sums are generated four sums are generated from the four uh, full adders hence s is taken as 0 1 2 3 so s of 0 1 2 3 those are the outputs that are generated s of 3 is going to be our final sum that will be generated then next output c out 2 so c out 2 is the final output of the carry that is generated and here just to differentiate between the previous c out that is used in the full adder this c out is used in the full adder just to differentiate with the variable we have taken c out 2 although we could have taken c out just because they are these are two different functions but just to differentiate we have taken c out 2 and then next wire again we have taken w1 w2 w3 these are actually the intermediate carries that are generated so out of the full adder one two three the carries that are generated are w1 w2 w3 respectively we could have taken 
टी वन टी टू टी थ्री और सी वन सी टू सी थ्री फॉर रिप्रेजेंटिंग बट सिंस दीज आर टू डिफरेंट मॉड्यूल्स वी कैन टेक द सेम नेम डब्ल्यू वन डब्ल्यू टू डब्ल्यू थ्री नेक्स्ट नाउ एज वी हैव डिस्कस फोर टाइम्स द फुल एडर हैज टू बी इम्प्लीमेंटेड नाउ दिस इज द फर्स्ट टाइम वी आर कॉलिंग द फुल एडर विद द नेम यू वन ओके Uh, the first time we are calling and for the first time we are passing a not and b not as the input significant input and here one dash b not is given as the first carry in now why are we getting this one dash b not one dash represents one bit of input so whatever the input that is given it will be of one bit and what kind of a, a bit is that it is a binary b stands for binary h stands for hexadecimal so here we are giving binary value and what is the exact value of that it is zero so zero is the value that we are supplying as the first carry in because there is no previous calculation that is done hence we have to give the first carry in as zero and this is how we pass the value then next this is the first sum that is generated s of zero and w1 is the first carry that is generated so from the first full adder these are the input and outputs of the the this this full adder so s0 is the sum w1 is the first carry this carry that is generated w1 is given as the next level carry in so the carry uh, out that is generated from the first full adder is given as the carry in of the second full adder hence in the second full adder where it is representing u2 we are giving the value a of 1 b of 1 these are the two significant inputs and w1 w1 is coming from the first full adder and this produces the outputs s of 1 and w2 again w2 this is the carry that is generated second carry that is generated will be going for the next level that is third full adder again the third carry that is generated w3 is going for the next level that is fourth full adder finally c out 2 is the carry that is generated at the last and this is the final carry that is generated so this is the ripple that is generated w1 is given as the input for the second one w2 which is generated at the second level is given as the input in the third level the w3 which is generated in the third level is given at the input as fourth level so this is the ripple that is followed hence the name ripple carry adder so this is the explanation for the code now going for this simulation so first of all we need to compile there is a question mark here question mark in the sense it is not yet compiled so right click on ripple carry adder compile now see the options if i have multiple files that are available if i have multiple files that are available in the same project and if i want to compile all then i can use this this option compile all okay but right now i don't want to do that i just want to compile this selected that is ripple carry adder dot v so i will click on compile this selected file and in the bottom of the screen we'll see compilation is successful so there is no error in this next we need to go for simulation start simulation so now the module that we are going to simulate is ripple adder not the full adder we need to uh, simulate ripple adder because full adder is a sub module of ripple adder whenever it is required the ripple adder module will call this particular function or the module okay so we are going to simulate ripple adder so go to work directory and this is sorted alphabetically go for r ripple adder here and say okay a new window will be generated and once i see this screen right click on this and say add wave now the output signal waves will be given to me this is the window i'll go to that window yes now if you look at the variables the parameters that are given here you can see these blue color rhombus that are available so on the rhombus there are this there is this green color arrow marks now if the arrow mark is on the left hand side then it is considered to be input if it is if the uh, green color arrow mark is on the right hand side it is considered to be output now 
if I expand this A, now A is having four bits, 0, 1, 2, 3. Similarly, B is having four bits, 0, 1, 2, 3. S sum is having four bits, 0, 1, 2, 3. Now, uh, C out is the final carry that is generated. W1, W2, W3 are the intermediate carries that are generated. Now, for giving the input, I, I have two options. One is just expand this A and give the values individually. So if the first value that I'm giving for A is seven, hexadecimal seven, then the value will be zero triple one. Zero triple one in the sense. So here I can start with this zero for A of three, I will give zero, then one, one, one. So individually, I may assign the values. That is option number one. Or what option number two, I will just right click on A and force. Now here, if I want to give seven, just directly type seven and deposit. Okay. And similarly for B also, I want to give the value seven. Seven, deposit and say, okay. So inputs I have given as A equal to seven, B equal to seven. Now we all know that the sum will be equal to 14. 14 in hexadecimal will be E and the carry that is generated is zero. So this we already know, but we need to simulate the things and show it. We need to prove it. So this is how the output is shown to us. So the inputs are A equal to seven, B equal to seven, sum is equal to E and carry that is generated is zero. This is for the first execution and since uh, the values of 7 are 0, triple 1 and 0, triple 1. So every time when I add the 1 and a 1 bit by bit, every time the carry is generated. And hence the intermediate carries W1, W2, W3 are 1, 1, 1 for this value. Let's try for some other value. So here I will give A is equal to hexadecimal B and say deposit. Now let me remind you hexadecimal B means A is equal to 10, B is equal to 11. Next variable B, I will assign the value 8 and say deposit. Now A is equal to B, B, uh, B is equal to 8, I will run the code. So again here the code is executed. B, B is 11, 11 plus 8 is 19. So in hexadecimal, it is one three, right? It is one three, hence the carry that is generated here. Look at the value of carry out, look at the waveform. So here the carry that is generated is one and the sum is three. That is how the values will be generated. Let's look at one more combination. A is equal to, I will just say two. And the next B is equal to, I will take the value, let's say five. So simple two plus five addition I'm doing. So two plus five, we all know, uh, we all know the answer is seven. And hence C out, the, the final carry out that is generated is zero. Now, if I expand the values of A and B and sum, look at the outputs here. So A is equal to, 2, 2 in the sense 0, 0, 1, 0. 5 is 0, 1, 0, 1. And 7 is 0, triple 1. So this is how the values will be represented. And these are the waveforms that will be generated. So this is the execution of the ripple carry adder. Thank you.